So this is what the piece, the block will look like when all the pieces are put together. So once I have my fabric choices ready, I iron my pieces that I'm working with. I lay them on a clean, flat surface. I like to load my stamp and I will load it by placing one edge up next to the edge of the stamp. I think that helps in centering the stamp and lining up the end edges as you stamp. And then I get my stamp pad out. I blot in my stamp pad place that edge up against an edge of the fabric. That's the other reason why I like that edge lined up. It's easier to line it up to the edges. And then just simply press. And then the see-through stamps allow you to line up your edges so you're pressing against the edge of the last stamp. I work my way on down the row and then continue and stamp as many as I want. And I found by using both hands and standing directly over the top, you get a pretty tight match on your pieces, which makes it great for cutting out. So on this particular pattern piece, I will need 18 of my diamond shapes. I think it adds a little bit of interest to break it up on the color on the inside. Or you could do the inside all one color and the outside a different color. It's sort of whatever you choose. So I've got my diamond shape loaded and ready to stamp. And I will stamp enough to probably again do two blocks depending on the size of my quilt and the number of fabric pieces that I have. Again I like fat quarter bundles because with so many of the quilts that I do I love color I love variation I don't want a quilt made with the same block repeated over and over again I think there's a lot of interest in different colors and so I've been ordering a lot of fat quarter bundles it gives you that variation that you need and all of these pieces, since they're by the same designer, they're color coordinated. And then you simply just add to that any groupings that may use more fabric. You can buy yardage of that particular color and then a lot of yardage of my white.